good morning everyone so the market has opened so as i said if it you know pushes through these levels uh, yesterday in the analysis video we're going to identify a buying trade so the market is opened uh, above these levels uh, the 400 and uh, uh, 44 640 levels so we are going to identify a buying trade but we're going to give it some time let the market uh, come into its own Remember, we're going a little contra this time. Mm, and I'm going to make a position in Nifty as well. Nifty, we're too late again. <laughs> 19,340. If it retraces a bit, I can make a position in Nifty. But for now, I'm just going to go for Bank Nifty. I'm sorry, here are the positions which uh, I have made right now. We're running at 6,000 rupees profit. Out here, we're running at some profits as well. Maybe... <coughs> the market could come for these buyers and sellers out here. Or it could take a retracement from anywhere. So, let's see. Let me see if it crosses the day's low. If not, then uh, yeah, I will get out, you know. It could uh, form, right now the red candles are running. So I'm gonna just let it be. You know, I'm gonna, <laughs> I wanted to book it out there at 300 rupees, but then again, the whole exercise of profit booking is going for a toss. So yeah, I will wait, you know, I will see like, I will let these small retracements go by. And let me see if, uh, if there's any, uh, you know, retracement on those levels. Let me see what is happening with Nifty. So Nifty has taken an upturn. Mm. So this would be a good point to start actually exiting the trade because the trade might be wrong. But then again, I'm going to wait till it performs under this resistance. And after it breaks this resistance anyways, we would know that it has gone wrong. But till this line, we're going to wait, you know, it might just um, take these uh, people out. So I'm going to calmly wait today because that's the practice, you know, that's the practice which we have to do to calmly wait till the profit booking. Profit booking is a craft as well. We have entered a trade. It is sort of like in positives right now. So we might as well wait. Of course, it can with option buying. That's the problem. Any green candle, you know, it can quickly turn into negative. So that is something which we have to be careful about. So let's see how it functions and um, let's see what kind of patterns does it create. Nifty is taking a support now, so that could work well. I don't think it's gonna, you know, it might not come to these levels. It might just take a support and then go up. Um, as I said, you know, we took a contra trade, which is okay. Because we are expecting this to come at least till this level, instead of directly going up. But anyways, it's struggling until it starts producing those big green candles that would take us out easily uh, we're still in profits on our real account on not our, on our virtual account we're in losses on a real account we're still um, break even so that whole thing has not turned out well till now problem unless and until we don't get a big candle in the downward direction nothing is going to work out so now we can only expect like a big candle and if that is there or if this is taken out then because now this warning has been given to you know the sellers <coughs> we are in profits right now again in bank nifty but we will wait for nifty again you know it's performing under it. today it's gonna just, it's just like a testing time it is gonna it's just testing you really badly <laughs> that's okay i think it has done a retracement of 0 0.6 so it might it is it is very likely to go up as well we're waiting for one like a big candle in our favor uh, even one would do in nifty that would just get us to these levels so yeah again it's fluctuating so bad there was 20,000 profit then again there's 4,000 loss 
I think I'm gonna exit this trade. It's not working. I think yeah, that's my level, dude. And it's just decaying, you know. So I'm not quite sure about this trade. I want it till here, but then again, we're taking a contra trade. You know, it might waste our time as well. I don't know if it's gonna work till these buyers and sellers. The way uh, it is moving, it might take a support as well. So let's see, like you know, what was the deal? Why we we weren't able to hold it to? Um, it is already like ten o'clock. We've waited long enough to, you know, um, or have we waited long enough? Hello. So as you guys can see, our target has been met. Uh, <laughs> we exited the. We exited again. Our winning trade as we have done last time as well and that's that's a big problem you know um, the solution is obviously to understand it better to be more confident in the market uh, we had placed a trade out here and our um, analysis was pretty simple see the problem was it opened gapped up so there was a uh, you know there was an issue there was not an there was a probability that the market would go up you know uh, but what had happened was there was a sell-off. I'll show you where the sell-off was. You know wh what gave us the what generated the market information. The market generation, uh, the market information was generated by Nifty. So Nifty started selling off out here on these levels. You know, and there was a it was a strong sell-off because you can see gaps as well. So what could have happened out here? You know, th there was a rejection on both the levels. So there was a rejection on top for Nifty. There was a rejection on top for Bank Nifty as well. So we placed a trade on the third candle somewhere around out here. But the premiums were around 300 and were not moving in any direction. So out here, there was these lower big candles which was created. Out here, I thought there was a possibility that the market would cover this and then start falling down immediately. That did not happen. It gave us another scare out here. Then that's why we ex started exiting the positions out here, which was the day's low. You know, at least we could have waited for the day's lows to be crossed. Out here, there was a possibility to average as well. This could have easily covered our target, you know. So that was the problem. The market remained in this range and sort of tested our patience. And <laughs> yeah, obviously, we failed our test. So these are learning lessons as well, you know. As I said, I've, I've said this earlier in the in my recordings as well that we should, you know, wait for the market to perform if the market is performing under resistance don't touch it you know it might not go up only if it crosses certain levels then we can start booking our losses the problem out here is we don't want to you know uh, book our losses and we always want to see ourselves in green that is the the time when we start lo you know giving up our winning trades as well which is what exactly happened today um, and also because there was this 400 and 500, uh, 44, 500 round number level, which was protecting it. So it could have retraced from anywhere as let me just mark it out. We thought it could have retraced from these levels because there were some buyers and sellers out here. You know, we caught, we thought it would retrace from these levels. So yeah, this was our main target, but we thought, you know, because of the premiums not moving at all, uh, we just thought, yeah, you know, it, it might just go somewhere else and give a breakout or something but again we were wrong you know if i think the rule we should observe is if the premiums are not moving and functioning within 10 points then we should wait you know because out we should not do an early exit so today was an early exit for us why was there a reason to do so i don't think so so you know even if the market has moved up there was you know something where we could have uh, waited engaged with the market because again it was performing under the resistance so was there a reason again there was no reason so here we could have even averaged so you know there was unless and until the market has broken out it has taken our stop loss there was no reason so the market is now given a great point which we failed to capture so these are the learning lessons which we're going to take forward with us and you know try to perform better in the market next time onwards because if we are going to <coughs> miss out on like, these big profits uh, on our losing days that is going to be a problem for us so yeah this is pretty much reached 360 we we bought at 300 and uh, the profit target has been achieved